one hour, one chapter. Then Friday, one, uh, tomorrow, one chapter. Friday, one chapter. Hmm. Finish there. Yes. Week seven. You want to do week six also, can? Okay, again, uh, uh, you won't see this PowerPoint or this PowerPoint on the canvas. Uh. I won't upload this or this answer on the canvas. You need to copy or write some something on the piece of paper that I give you. Yeah, so there are four L important LO in our class. First is model, role and responsibility. Question one, question two. This one, question three, question four. Next chapter, we will deal with scheduling and cost. That one is uh, chapter five. Okay. Yeah, so this PPT will not be uploaded in the canvas for your info. Okay, so make sure every one of you, you get 16 pieces of Apple paper. Um, so those uh, don't not in the class one, uh, you can take for your friend after the class. Okay, so first one, we go into chapter one, uh, project management review. Uh, okay, so for this module, already uploaded the document in the canvas. Uh, PM something, the, 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 the document uh, name is a PM something. Uh, you need to go, uh, there's a 364 pages document. Uh. It's actually, it's a textbook. You need to read, uh. you need to read that textbook. Uh, question will be from there. Uh. Question will be from there. Uh, so read that book. So these questions are from that book also. Uh, okay. Now, number one, for question number one, the potential benefit from effective project management are what? What are the benefits from the effective project management? What do you think? You can guess. Huh? What is your answer? For this module, you only need to remember this triangular. Uh, time, cost, and performance. Huh? Or customer spec. Okay, potential or effective project management are, okay, they are four main things. Lah. Uh, so when you have a clear uh, project management, you know the responsibilities of functional units uh, who are accountable for. So again, we have uh, three keywords, responsibility, accountability, and Authority. Uh, so, uh, you when you have a clear or effective product management, you know who in charge of what. So the keyword here is functional responsibilities. Um, then there are four points that you can elaborate. Okay. Um, minimize continuous reporting. Identify uh, the time limit. All right. Uh, methodology for trade-off analysis. So product management. One of the key process is trade-off. Trade-off analysis what means what need to let go in the process. Uh, measurement of accomplishment against plan. This is a progress, project progress. Okay, of course, there are more points that you can write. Go to the document. Again, go to the document in Canvas. Go and see there's a, I think, one page or two page elaboration on effective project management. Go and read. Okay. Mm. Okay, number two, describe how to use the project management methodology may benefit the organization exist in achievement of strategic objective. Okay, the question asks you how. Uh, don't explain all these words to me. The question asks you how. So there is method, right? Method or any model that you need to use. Huh? Oh, there are more. Sorry, uh, question one, there are more. Uh, Corrective action, uh, capability to do projection for future planning, 
uh, knowing uh, whether the objective can or cannot meet or will ex uh, exceed. Right? Uh, so there are six points or uh, seven points. You can write if the question one come out. Lah. Okay. So normally here got seven. We won't ask you to memorize all, maybe four points from here. Okay. So the second question is on how to use, how to use the project management methodology. Oh, there are four or uh, five points here, how to use that may benefit to the organization. So control changes, provide constant approach, consistent approach, improve quality, reduce risk, improve estimating abilities. Uh, so in our class, we see there is a uh, perceived, perceived failure and uh, one more, I forget. We see failure and huh? Huh? Actual. actual failure. Ah, so uh, that one also, uh, you can elaborate. Lah. Yeah. Okay. So project management methodology is to is for control changes, consistent approach, quality, risk, and estimating the abilities. Okay, these are the points lah, for question number two. Okay, question three, um, list uh, the factor that could commonly known as competing demand. List the factor that is commonly known as competing demand. So you as a, you can think in from the customer perspective, what do you want actually? Then the manufacturer or the supplier, what they need to give you. What do you think? What are the factors that commonly known as competing demand? Let's say you have a, you are the business owner. How what are the thing you consider? You are the very competitive uh, service provider, for example. Huh? Price, quality, what else? Huh? Reliability. So there are a lot lah, uh, for these four things. Still elaborate on time, cost, and performance. So factor on the cost means you have a competitive cost. Uh, last time I worked in a metal stamping company. Uh, what, what is a precision metal stamping is if you drive car, there's an audio set. You If you take out the audio set, there's a bracket, all this. Uh, so the company turn a metal piece, a metal sheet into form. Uh, they do forming. They do CNC machine, all these things. Uh, uh, scope means, um, for example, uh, scope means what, what you want to do, uh, what you can cover in the contract. Uh, scope. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, the, the boundaries, la, the, the, cap, the, the boundaries of your contract. La. Uh, so, uh, okay. Scope here means, uh, yeah, it's, it's more on the things that you can offer, uh, things that you can offer to your customers. Uh, okay, so yeah, just now I told you about my experience. So that time we manufacturing uh, stamping products, we actually offering the highest price in the in the industry, but still customers still taking us because we able to deliver fast. We are the fastest uh, service provider. So it means from the ordering, from confirmation of order until uh, the prototype completed, you take the shortest time in the industry. Uh. So cost sometimes is not the main, main things unless uh, Cost, uh, cost normally is not uh, is a consider is a considering uh, factor, but sometimes you want to win over, you need to improve your quality. Like for example, uh, Lamborghini, all those uh, premium car, they don't really care whether you can pay or not. They are focusing on the pro the, the 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 quality, right? Uh, 
uh, to them, if you don't have money to pay, that is your problem. Uh, okay, to them, quality is what they focus on, for example. Huh? Uh, so you elaborate, lah. You elaborate on cost, scheduling, uh, means on the time that you can deliver, scope means the item that you can, or services that you can uh, offer to the customers, uh, uh, quality, risk that you can handle, right? So competing demand here is also risk. Your company, can you take in risk or not? Uh, here, including financial risk. Like for example, uh, if you work before, you know there is a consignment. Or uh, if you buy something, if you buy something, you can wait until 30 days only you can, only you pay. There's a, there's, there's a period that you can hold your payment. Uh, that also risk. Uh, so, so for example, uh, uh, risk also means that you're able to get resources from your vendors, from the suppliers. So like for example, construction, you're able to get bricks, all these bricks, all this sand, if the projects kick off uh, or the projects start already. So you won't start in the middle, uh, for example. Uh, uh, resources, resources are all the, resources here can be human talent. It can be uh, physical equipment. It can be IP, uh, it can be intellectual properties, it can be know-how, it can be technologies. Uh, okay, so this, this, this five point is, 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 is important. If the question asks you, um, it gives you a scenario how you win over a contract. If you're a project manager, you are dealing with customers, uh, how do you win over the contract by considering the competing demand. The keyword here is competing demand. So if you see the question asks you about competing demand, basically we are, we are looking at this uh, five point, uh, six point. Then you elaborate. Okay. Uh, so normally we won't, we won't ask you, let's say this one come out, we, this got, got five, uh, six point. Normally we just expect you to write five. So about 10 marks. Uh. So one, one, one one of these words will give you one mark and then you elaborate one mark. So you elaborate, don't need long, 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 long paragraph, maybe one or two lines, then okay. Okay. Uh, number four, what factor can be considered to effectively and reliably indicate successful completion of projects? Uh, so this one asks you successful projects. Uh, still, you you you, you elaborate uh, on a time, cost, and performance. Right, got eight uh. so you can elaborate uh. Uh, Each one of it, you elaborate on maybe three point out of here. So example, uh, example uh, give you all uh. Okay, so number four uh, is uh. Customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, uh, minimum changes to the scope, effective uh, management, uh, recognition of project team, minimal conflicts, fully operation services deliverables, you add on business, no disruption to the operation. Uh, you can elaborate. Lah. Okay. Okay, so this triangular, normally this at the middle here is a resources. Lah. Your resources, this internal process in the middle. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you just take, take all this to the back. Sorry. Okay. So you elaborate. Oh. Um, customer satisfaction is the, is the very important word. Even you think you're not meeting the quality QA spec, spec specification, but the customer say, oh, very good. Huh? Uh, then consider success also, huh? or partial successful. Uh, so employee certification, this one is internal factor. Minimum changes to the scope of work, this one is uh, between the process of execution. Um, and this is empowerment. Executive management recognition of the project team means it empower you to make decision. Uh, 
uh, budget, it give you budget, give you authority to decide things. Uh, then minimal conflict between the team members and organization unit. This is a, a project manager work. You need to communicate and reduce conflict. Uh, fully operational and product services deliverables. Uh, add on business. Add on business means uh, from one contract, you can extend to another contract. Uh, okay. Now, for example, if you are construction, what you can do, beside you building the, the building, you can also offering maybe some marketing strategies uh, to the customers. You can share your view as a professional uh, developer. You can share to the, the uh, uh, as a builder or as a, if you are a technical guy, you can share the know-how. For example, precast technologies you are the you are the uh, you are the builders company you are the construction company you get the contract from a developer so you have a add-on business means if you have expertise in precast you can offer them in the shortest time for example um, no disruption of the operation this one is uh, another elaboration okay number five in many organizations uh, structure itself may create internal communication barrier, which is conflict. Another word for communication barrier also means conflicts, gaps, functional gaps, island. Uh, so you see this one, uh, gap, 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 and island. So remember, recall the diagram. Uh. There's a diagram on the management gap, functional gap, and operation gap. So this question ex actually expect you to draw the diagram and then elaborate. Yeah, so recall back, go back to the PowerPoint slides, go and see the, 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 the diagram. This gap barrier may result in conflicts, blah, blah, blah. Discuss some of the costs of, the, of costs of this gap, how this gap can be minimized or solution. You give a problem, can give solution. Okay, uh, so this one, of course, uh, this is a tutorial question. When it comes to test, you'll be specific to give three courses three solution or uh, two courses and two so two courses and two solution, something like that. Uh, minimum will be three, la. usually it will be three, three and three. So you get about 12 marks, 10, uh, 12 marks to, it depends, la. about 12 marks. La. So one answer about two marks. Okay. Uh, so what do you think that caused the gap and how gap can be effective minimized? You give one scenario, then you give solution. So here got a few options, uh, a few options. So uh, this can be a long question because it gives you management gap, functional gap, and operation island. So each one of it have their own cause of gap, functional gap, and operation island. Uh, so this one you need to uh, uh, go and read uh, again uh, the document. Uh, 300 pages kind of document inside canvas go and read uh. because we don't have time to go line by line in the lecture uh, it will be very boring also so go and read uh. so these are the example answer okay example answer uh. if you all So here you have more than uh, a few points there. So one, if you have a functional gap, if your functional gap happen, is because the functional unit developed their own culture. While you have a management gap, maybe it's the organization culture. Okay. And maybe it's a business unit culture. Business unit culture actually elaboration from the first point. Okay, management hierarchy. Management hierarchy is the first one. Management gap. Uh, uh, protection of area of responsibility or bracket the fish. Right, the fish. Non cooperation. A conflict between organization with seemingly common goal and interest. Uh, the fish. This one. Is common in MLM company or uh, those uh, doing sales. For example, insurance company. Your agent will fight against each other to get 
the same pool of customers. Uh, for example, uh, Negri Sembilan, you have so many, you only have so many population, let's say 500,000 people in Seremban or in Nilai alone. So in Nilai alone, maybe you have 1,000 Asian or 2,000 Asian. So you actually uh, have a very competitive environment to close sales, for example. Okay. So this one, protection or area of uh, responsibilities, this one is for the operation island. No? This one is because you have a protection area of responsibilities. Uh, competition among managers. This one, managers is functional groups. Okay. Uh, different priorities. This one can apply for the three management gap, functional gap, operation gap because they have uh, different priorities uh, in the management, uh, different priorities in the functional unit, uh, different priorities in the individuals uh, functional uh, unit or individuals. Okay, uh, so uh, management gap is more on the management, more on the executive, uh, high executive uh, uh, level. Functional groups, they are more in the expert area or department or section. Operation Island, the keyword here is more on the individual. Okay, more on the individual. So unclear organization objective, this one also can affect management gap and functional gap. Uh, again, uh, how you reach operation, operation Island when you have management gap plus functional gap, you get Operation Island. Huh? Again, you must draw the, the diagram uh, that, I, that I show you in the, in the lecture. Draw the diagram, then you only explain. Uh, a failure to communicate appropriate organization structure. Okay. Uh, the next one, how, to, how this gap can be effectively minimized. Uh, that one you need to think a little bit. Uh. Okay. So what do you think? How you solve for culture things? Uh? You understand what is culture, right? You understand the word culture, right? Culture means the way of doing. He's so used to the way of is 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 uh uh, the 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 way that the the thing operate uh. Okay, can you give me an example of culture business uh, operation culture? Let's say put as uh, your family uh, Let's say your family. Your every family have their own culture one, uh, right? Uh, for example, in my in my in my house or my family, uh, every time you eat you eat. After you finish eating, you need to wash this one. In my family, you if you put the plates, ah, uh, you eat a plate, a plate in the basin, ah, uh, you cannot score one. Uh, so that is my family culture. So you can extend that point to business culture. So what kind of business culture that you think is a culture? For example, it can be good, it can be bad. Uh. What was the example? Ah, uh, uh, like what? Okay, get more business and then. Okay, uh, it's a very competitive uh, environment. But we talk about culture. We talk about culture. Culture is the way you do things in that company. Uh, so what 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 is other example? So, for example, not sharing information. This can be culture. It can be culture for that particular group of people. Then what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, culture. Example of culture.
Ah, uh, need to follow the laser. It means uh, every time your superior says something, you need to follow. Uh, also, also can become a culture. Uh, what else? What else? What's, uh, what else do you think? Huh? Uh, okay, so that Japanese culture or Taiwan culture, um, you need to wait your boss go back, then only, only you can go back. Uh, some company, they are like that. Uh, you cannot go back before your boss. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What do you think? Ah, uh? what else? Uh, you need to elaborate these kind of points in the answer. Uh. You need to give an example. Uh, if you mention business unit culture, you say you can mention competitive uh, culture, uh, not sharing information. Uh, then. Uh, it can be op, uh, organization culture. Um, you cannot, uh, you cannot go back uh, earlier than your boss. Okay. Uh, what else? Some company OT is normal. Work over time is normal. Means if you don't OT, something wrong with you. Some company, yeah, some company. And then, and some company not even pay you for OT. They assume you 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 can do OT. Uh, even though in the interview they tell you already, are you willing to do OT? But you must smart enough to counter the question. Uh, do I get paid for OT? If you don't ask, then assume you can work OT without pay. Uh. Uh, so if you work in the industry, you need to be smart and ask the correct question. Don't assume things. Uh. Don't assume things when you go to work. And everything will go by contract, means everything will mention very clearly in your contract. Okay. Uh, what else? What other culture? Maybe one more example. Means, uh, you are multitasking. Okay. Uh, okay. Our, uh, culture, other cultures will be a good culture. Uh, a good culture, you can think of the Japanese company. For example, they arrive sharp and they go home sharp. Uh, no, uh, they go home sharp, but they actually, they do not go home directly they will go and uh, have drink with their boss then only they can go back some company they have this so even though they clock out already but they will go and have a drink or meal with their boss then only go back some company they have that culture uh, okay um, for example japanese culture uh, the first agenda for example if you work in a factory japanese factory or Japanese airline, if you work as a technician or engineers, the first thing after the briefing, you need to do exercise one. Like uh, assembly, then everyone do exercise. Like warm up exercise, these things. Huh? Yeah. Uh, if you work in a Japanese culture, you know. Uh, then they have this, uh, you need to make sure in Japanese company, you need to make sure your desk is clean. Uh, you need to make sure your desk is clean. Uh, really, uh, they they will give you warning letter if your desk is messy. Uh, then uh, German company. German company, uh, engineering company, you will see the uh, culture is that when the tools are engineering tools, they are clearly labeled and they specific location for that particular tools. If you misplace that one, uh, you will kenal, uh, you will warning or what okay um Malaysia culture what are the bad culture you know smoking uh, if you work in a factory you know la, smoking issue uh, 
So after work half an hour, you need to go smoke already. In Singapore, there's a specific space for you to smoke. Uh. You will draw a box, uh, you go and smoke there. And they purposely draw a box uh, in somewhere that have a sunlight on. Because no space, uh, no space for you. Because in Singapore, all the covered area, you cannot smoke. So they normally go to where? Go to the back of the building, Longkang area, uh, go and smoke. Uh. Okay, so these are the uh, culture. Um, yeah, you need to elaborate. Uh, you need to think. Uh, you need to think what are the culture, how you solve all these culture things. Okay, by education. Okay, by education, by trainings. Okay, by policy. Uh, policy means you have to force your teams to do something. Uh, so you have like a so-called discipline master in the company. You watch each other. Uh, and if you are dealing with defense or very sensitive information, uh, there's also they have a culture there. Like how you safe keep your info. Uh, okay. So some company they, they want to safeguard, uh, they even install a security scan machine in the acid and out. Uh, acid uh, door there before you go out you need to go through the scanning all these things okay okay six and seven i think i give you the answer already okay six on seven define term stakeholder provide example of stakeholder associated with the project you're engaged okay so what are the stakeholder definition anyone direct involved in the projects and in some way affect either positively or negatively as a result of the projects. The keyword here is directly involved and can affect the result of the projects. They are called stakeholders. Okay, so question number six, uh, it can be changed to another way of asking. Uh, it gives you a scenario, uh, for example, it give you um, um, for example Coca Cola. It give you a Coca Cola scenario. Um, it ask you uh, give the definition of stakeholders uh, in the Coca Cola company setting or Coca Cola business setting. Provide example of stakeholders that associate with the Coca Cola business. Uh, so these are the things. Uh. So how you start the answering, you give the definition of stakeholders. Uh, how we arrange the sentence is you are free to do so. But what I'm looking at is anyone directly involved, right? directly involved, and can affecting the result of the project or success or failure of the projects. These are the keyword that I'm looking at. How you elaborate, how you write is your, your, your freedom. Okay. Then you give the example of stakeholders. Okay. Example of stakeholders, usually PM, project team, project sponsor, supplier, end user, or can be customers, and so on. Okay. So examples, it asks you for examples here. So it can be, uh, the question will give you a, a numbers, uh, provide a minimum of four example of stakeholders associated with the Coca-Cola projects that you engage in. So these are the answers that we expect in the answer. Hmm. Okay, describe the purpose or meanings of the term project management. This is a theory based. Um, you need to read from the document in Canvas, uh, a complete one. Here is just a, a quick one. Application of knowledge, skill, tools necessary to achieve project requirement. You can use other definition that come from the textbook in the Canvas. Uh, 
Number eight, what are the five major project management process group? Five major project management process group. Okay. So they are project management process. They are initializing, planning, executing, monitor and control and closing. These are the five process in the project management. And in our slides, there are, there are elaboration there. You can write uh, what you do in the initialization, what you do in planning, what you do in executing, what you do in monitoring and control, what you do in closing. In our slide, already have. And also in the textbook in Canvas, also have. Go and read. So this one can be um, 10 marks. Each one of these, each one of these word give you one marks, you need to elaborate another one marks. Okay. And elaboration don't need to be lengthy, don't need to be give me a full paragraph because only one mark. We don't expect you to write full long paragraph for one marks. One marks like maybe one or two lines of word to explain that. But what do you do that? Okay. Um number nine. Describe at least three factors that might influence customer perspective for project success. Influence customer perspective. You are the end user, you know. What can, uh, what can affect your perception? Whether, or oh, this is a good company, or this is a good project, this is a bad project. What do you say? This one, uh, time, cost, and your performance. Uh. Elaborate, okay. All these things are ah. okay. Elaborate on quality, elaborate on availability of project manager. Why you need a contact person, All right? You need a contact person, you need um, a reliability of products and services, you need safety and minimum changes to the scope. Uh, minimum impact to the workflow of the organization. We need to consider external and internal factor. Huh? Why? Because impact to the workflow in the organization will affect the delivery time. It will affect the time dimension. Okay. Scope changes. This one, minimum changes to the scope changes. You change scope, you change the cost. Huh? You change scope, you change, you increase, or uh, you can affect the costs. Uh, because if you, for example, in manufacturing, you shift one whole location, the, you need to drill home, uh, you shift the, 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 the location, uh, one cm or even one mm, you need to change the tool uh, for punching the hole. The jig that you use, you need to change the pin location. That one costs you a few thousand. Okay. So this one you elaborate. So you can see there are some wording or some keyword they keep repeating in this module. Okay. Quality, safety, uh, minimum reporting, minimum changes of scope, uh, minimum interruption of workflow, all these things. Huh? So this, all these are related to project success. Okay. Uh, the question can be changed to a scenario question. It gives you a scenario, for example, Coca-Cola. They launched a new product and they found out that for the last three months, the sales dropped. You as a project manager, what are the possible factors that you need to look in for the projects uh, in terms of Project success that influence the customer's perception of the low sales. These are the points. Okay, you need to be creative, not creative, like you need to smart enough to, to see what, what we are trying to ask you. Okay. Uh, low sales or high sales. Uh, 
a successful uh, projects in terms of customer perspective. Uh, you need to elaborate uh, on this point. Okay. Uh, other things, uh, yeah, other things also. Okay, ease of use also important if you are product based uh, services. Um, aesthetic appearance is important nowadays. Getting more and more important in aesthetics. Uh, so you can take like phone design, car design. Uh, so ease of use are important, especially you deal with the consumer, uh, consumer applic uh, uh, electronics uh, uh, devices. Okay. Number 10, explain. Explain why establishing good daily working relationship with functional managers. We still have how many questions? Ah? 20, 20, right? 22. Okay, I'll, I'll go fast a bit. Okay, uh, we end our class maybe another 15 minutes. I'll go fast a bit. Okay, explain why establishing good daily working relationship with functional managers or line managers is important for the project success. This one is in terms of a project manager. Why? Why do you think it's important? Where is the attendance list? Why do we already? Why? Why do you think? Yeah, I didn't give you sign. Ever now. Oh, okay. What do you think? What is the answer for this this question? Huh? Reduce how how? Explain why uh explain why establishing uh reduce conflict is one. The reason is one. Reduce conflict. What are the example of conflict? Okay. Okay, give chance to other members. Huh? Edition, you are here. Is it? Edition, what is the uh, example? What is the uh, explain why it's important? You as a project manager, why it's important you talk to the functional manager? Uh, okay, this question actually asks you do you understand what is the role of functional managers? What are the power and authority that uh, functional manager have what is the function of pro, uh, project manager uh, this question asks you the role and responsibilities of functional unit and pm why what what are the things that pm don't have pm don't have what authority that PM don't have and functional unit have to decide what? Huh? Make a decision on on what? On what? On? You must mention functional unit can do decision on what, what, what decision they can do. Uh, resources are uh, the word is resources it can be talent it can be machine uh, or it can be technology okay they are the one who controlling uh, whether they want to borrow you that machine or not uh. so if they say or give you a reason they also can one uh, means you can you can delay your projects it will cost you the time Uh, if the finance or the finance or the unit function manager they want to sabotage you they they you request for the cost of the projects they give you high cost you you lose the projects lose the bidding for example okay yeah so these are the things uh, 
what you are depending you are you as a PM, and this actually asks you what do what the PM don't have, what are the functional manager have that can help you to complete your projects. So the word is resources. The finance manager they actually have resources in their hand. You need to get resources from them. The word is provide resources, and they know what is the appropriate resources to supply to you. Because they are they are the expert. They are the expert. Okay. And they also need to know because they are the expert, the functional manager need they can make sure that the work performed correctly. They are the expert, right? So they have the tools, they have the resources, they know what to do. So you need to elaborate on this. Okay. And also conflict just now uh, from the class also mentioned conflicts. Uh, and this one is uh for future work likelihood of the function manager willing to work for the future projects you need to think of the future if you have a good relationship then they will work likely to work with the future projects that are coming in uh, okay sometimes they can they can reserve resources for you if you are very good with them very good relationship with them they can reserve some time slot for you. For example, my previous work experience, uh, because I work as a project manager, a project uh, engineer also, but basically what I do is uh, project manager works. Uh, that time we are re we are rushing for uh, projects um, before Chinese year, things like uh, similar like this time frame, like a few more weeks Chinese year already, and I need to deliver the prototypes. Uh, before the Chinese New Year. So you have uh, like two weeks time. And the production for they are quite busy. Uh, because I have a very good relationship with my functional managers or the production floor or the engineering department. They rush the project, the, the project for me. Uh, and we successfully secured the, the projects. Uh, we managed to deliver out before the Chinese New Year. Uh, so this is very important if you go to work, relationship is very important. Uh, what can you do if you are the project manager to establish good daily working relationship? What can you do? What are the example that you can do? Uh, pra practical example. What are the action that you can do to build the good relationship? With all this expertise, huh? You are non-expert, but you work with expert. And normally they are very senior. They are like 40, 50 years old. Uh, right? Uh, so how, how do you build relationship with them? Uh, work together? Oh, uh, no. Lah. I mean, you, you can supply cigarette. You can supply, but you don't smoke. Lah. You know smoke is not good, right? Uh, uh you can you can recommend them or no a hey, i heard that this uh, this brand secret very good uh even you can offer shisha or something like that <laughs> right uh adapt to their working culture then try to make them easy like for example all these expertise they are quite stressful actually because they do labor very labor heavy ma. so they need they need things to help them to relax Okay, what else? What else you can do? Beside the smoking example, yeah. uh, smoking example is a, is is uh, not good uh, not a good answer when it comes to exam because we are academic uh, we are universities uh, uh, so we don't teach smoking one uh, uh, so um, you can give another example that related to good ethics one. What are the things you can do? Huh? Huh, you can buy them a meal actually. Uh, or you can celebrate birthday. Uh, just a simple cut. You don't need to sing birthday song. Lah. Sometimes you just you just uh, give give them a small cut. Or buy them things that they like. Uh, if they like to eat char siu pao, you buy char siu pao. Lah. But it didn't cost much, right? Huh? Or you buy some uh, if you, you know that that day he has sore throat, uh, have flu. You buy something that related to that 
situation. Or maybe you can help the functional managers to do something. For example, what I do uh, last time, uh, I, I go to the production floor to help. Even I'm engineer, I don't, I, not I don't need to go into the production floor. I go and help do sorting, uh, do this uh, to faster the, the process. Uh, so if like, for example, machine broke down, uh, go and see, like, go and ask some stupid question. Uh, hey, how, uh, how this happened, uh, for example, already, already you already know the reason actually. Uh, but just ask, uh, give them chances to show off. Give them chances to show off their, their, their talent. Ask stupid question, hey, how this can, can happen? Uh? Then they will explain, uh, or oh, oh, then you phrase them a bit, uh, wow, you very good, uh, you know these things. Uh, then they will, they will tell you a lot of uh, like 10 year story, you know, or last time. Uh, they tell you story one. Uh. But it's good, it's good. It's, it's part of the, the good relationship. Uh, uh. Uh, buy meals, all these things. But these are all the PR things. Uh, PR things. Sometimes what you can do is you can talk good, good, good feedback in front of him and your boss, like in a meeting, right? In a meeting, the function manager is there, you are there, your big boss is there, CEO is there. Take the opportunity to give credit to that person. Uh, because all people like to give face one, especially Chinese people. Uh, I don't know about other... Uh, India. I don't. I think Indian also uh, like faces, right? Uh, if people give you faces, you also happy one. Uh, so you you give faces, uh, Like okay, you know. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, uh, Mr. Tan, for helping me for the previous two weeks rushing and uh, uh, supplying all the resources to help these uh, projects, and we successfully secured the contract. For example, uh, say this kind of things. Uh, don't don't cost you much one, uh. Uh, you don't feel pain when you say this one, right? Uh, and then sometimes in front of all these experts, the word uh, sorry, uh, I am sorry is important. Uh. Even though it's not your fault. Uh, even though it's not your fault, remember to say sorry first. Sorry, this is my mistakes. I overlook, even though it's that person's mistakes. Because you are the project manager. You Project manager, you oversee the whole projects. Even though it's a technical issue, lah, for example, um, they wrongly read the, the technical drawing, for example. They, they, they mistake, for example, technical drawing mention need to do deeper or need to polish this corner. And they overlook that. So when you submit, the customer say, hey, why don't you do this one? So when you go back to the companies and you work with this guy, just say, hey, I'm sorry, I overlooked this one. I forget to tell you that there is a deeper area uh, or polished area that you need to do, work on. And I forget to highlight this one. Although reading the technical drawing is the technical guy who job. Uh, but if you're the one who's the one, the, the, you're the first one who says sorry, uh, the situation will be a bit different. Uh. Uh, these are the PR strategies. Uh. Uh, so that's why I'm very good in handling people. Uh, especially those senior people. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So these are the things. Uh, uh, explain the integration. Uh, this one, integration related to this one already in our slides. All right. Okay. So this one describes the major role of PM during planning. This one, what I mean by the integration means they are interrelated. Uh, if the question asks you to explain uh, the word, uh, don't use back the word. Uh, if the question asks you to explain integration, don't use back the word integration. Uh, try to explain the word, like integrate is what? Interrelated process, and you must coordinate, coordinate across the organization boundaries. These are the things. Huh? Uh, okay, this are another one. Ensure functional units communicate effectively. So communicate always link with the question with the project manager. If you see the, the question asks you project manager role or something, don't miss, miss out communicate. This word is important every time we link with the project manager question. 
Then you elaborate. Uh. Okay, uh, can I? Uh? Slides. We have 22 questions. Right? We will film a few more slides, then we call it a day. Huh? Okay. Okay, define typical roles of functional managers. Uh, this one is the same like question number 10, but it's changed it to another way. It asks you the role of functional managers. Describe at least three challenges that functional managers may encounter in organization that engage in management of multiple projects. The challenges here is multiple projects. And now you look at as a functional managers. So you need to think, you need to give, how you, how you answer this question is to answer, what is the role of functional manager? Right? The, the functional managers is what? Is uh, what under this functional managers, what, what they are doing? Uh, first line you write up. Okay, then you write out oh, the second one is the issue, multiple projects. Okay, so again, functional managers is what what is on their hand resources. The word is resources. Uh. Uh, so when you have multiple project, you need to delegate your project. That is the challenges. Let let's say you only have ten people, or ten machine. You need you have uh, multiple projects. So you need to plan for your time, cost, and customer preference uh, performance. Okay. See uh, how they give you. So again, you explain what is functional major job scope, resources and expertise. Resources and expertise, technical expertise. These are the challenges. There are many. So one of these uh, example is uh, challenges might be unreasonable time frame, time. Uh, internal politics, this one is unavoidable. This one can create gap. Uh. We have three types of gap, management gap, functional gap, and island. Uh. Operational island, these three. Uh. Uh, limited resources. Uh, so elaborate uh, on the resources. What are the challenges on resources? What are the challenges on the expertise? Uh, priorities. Different priorities. And managing demand. When demand from what? From who? Project manager. Yeah. So you just maintain how you answer question in this module. Who? The role. Then adjective or verb. Do what? Okay. With who or why? Uh, with who? Or why? Reason. So you answer by this. Who? The who do what? Then what? 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 And why? Huh? Okay. How do a project manager ensure that he establish or maintain effective collaborative relationship with project sponsor and project executive? Now, just now the question asks you project manager with the functional unit. Uh, 13 asks you about higher authority. Uh, so this question asks you the role of sponsor and executive. Uh, so you need to explain what project manager do. Project manager is to communicate effectively for the success of the projects and do integration uh, to make sure the success of the projects. So you need to explain what Project sponsor and executive do. Huh? So, it, how? Huh? How means you need to explain the detail of what you do already. The, if you see how, huh, it means you need to discuss your methodology, your method of solving that situation. Already. Okay? You're dealing with the sponsor and project executive. Again, I elaborate on time. Elaborate on time. You need to tell them. You need to tell your boss, your big boss, when you need going to start because they're going to pump in money for you. So you need to tell them when when I start. Okay. 
Then tell them communication requ uh, requirement. So what do you need for this project? What are resources you need? Okay, Escal to escalation of procedures. So you need to have a effective relationship. Sometimes the approval can come very fast. For example, in Inti, uh, can say almost the projects that come to me approved very fast by the top management uh, because I'm very good in doing the, all these things. Uh, straight to the point, tell them what I want um, because they also have no, no time to listen to your elaboration. They only want to know how many money you want, when you want to start, why you want to start. Uh, uh, usually, three minutes presentation. Uh, you present in three minutes what you want, uh, then they will decide already. Okay. Detail you can put in the report, they can read if they have time. Okay. Escalation, planning process, methodology, and clear objective. At least they know what's going to happen for the next three years or next, next three months. Who are you going to get contact and what is the role? Huh? Project sponsor, executive, still call back the phrase and get huh? The phrase get process, the, the phrase get uh, model, uh, they are the one who at the gate. They are the one who at the gate. Uh. Okay, number 14 is an open, open question. It's a long list. You see 14 got a long list, right? This is the same. 14 is the same, right? So, cause and effect. So all projects are unique. So referring to the list of costs, so you have cost A to O. Uh, match two courses, only two. So it means you pull any two from here, put it inside uh, here. Uh, so you have uh, effect means late completion. Then you choose any courses from here, put inside here. Then you give explanation, right? And explain why the two are chosen. Why you choose these two from here? Yeah. So this one, I leave it to you. Important that is you think, explain why, why this one happened, how you solve. Uh, this kind of question. Uh. Why you? Why this? This is a cause reason. How you solve? Uh, so for example, late completion. Let completion give to uh, let completion activities. Look from here, anyone also, any of this also valid one. Huh? Any of this also valid one, but the, the thing is that you need to explain why, why this happened. What caused it from happening? For example, no project cost accounting availabilities. So because of late completion, you don't have no project cost accounting abilities uh, because uh, without the proper cost, uh, there is a delay of projects because uh, you don't have enough resources to buy new equipment. For example, not enough time to uh, to pay the workers. Uh, so we explain uh, this one. Huh? Uh. Okay, now this one you need to think a little bit and explain. Okay. Uh, so how do I mark if this kind of uh, question come out? Here got six, right? And uh, maybe I pick three from here. I make pick three from here. Uh, I will ask you to list out the courses without overlapping. If I ask three from here, meaning I expect you to give six courses, any six from here, then you explain why, why this one happened or how this one happened. Can I? As long as you understand how I ask you in a test or exam. Okay. 14, okay, 14 also same. 14. Okay, so this one you read, lah. There are many. This one, 
15. Uh, 15 is a role, additional role of integrator, coordinator, describe other role. Okay, other role. Huh? Other role. This one, integrator and coordinator is the main role of a PM. Uh, this one come out one, <coughs> I think one time in a test one for this module. So you elaborate. Uh? Um, other roles, uh, this one, other answer also in the canvas. Uh, go and read uh, the 300 pages uh, document. And read. So accountable for successful completion projects, liaison between the team and the sponsor means your on top of PM is all the sponsors. Below PM is all the functional unit or project team. Other role include team building, team builder, conflict manager, coach, mentor, facilitator, leaders, motivator. Uh, these are the secondary role. Number 16, manager often challenge, influence functional managers who maybe have multiple projects. Explain how. Uh, this one already explained. I'll give you an example just now. How you improve relationship. How is what you do. Uh, what action you do. So these are the things that you can do. Okay. Listening and understanding their needs. Then you give them what they need. Okay, keyword is listening and understanding. Okay, you listen, try to understand what actually their challenges, put yourself in their shoes, then try to minimize the conflict. Okay, uh, for example, maybe uh, two managers, two function managers cannot talk, talk to each other one. Cannot talk to each other one. You mentioned, you mentioned, maybe mentioned Mr. Tan, Mr. Chong were not happy. You mentioned Mr. Chong, Mr. Tan won't, won't be joining the project. I have one, this kind of case. So what you do, you need to be friend with these two persons. No? And you know that they are, they are hating each other, what you do. You don't mention other name in front of the person. No? Okay, you say, oh, uh, I will talk to uh, Mr. Chong about this one. Uh, as long as you agree this one, okay, I will talk. To Mr. Chong about this one, for example. Okay. Okay. Seventeen relationship again. A critical factor. Uh, what action can be taken, project manager, to ensure a strong and supportive relationship between project manager and project sponsor? This one is relationship between. Just now is the relationship between functional unit, which is below you. Uh, this question is about above you. How you maintain? means you need to uh, give them inf enough information for decision. Huh? Sponsor and uh, sponsors, executive, they are the gate holder. They are, they are decision makers. So you, what decision maker need to use? Uh, need, need is the information. Huh? Four type of decision. You still remember? Four kind of decision. Proceed without changes. Proceed with changes hold and get more information or cancel this for information huh? uh, this for decision proceed without changes proceed with changes hold if two two unclear information hold and get more information and cancel the last one the most difficult decision is cancel okay if you communicate with higher authority Establish clear expectation. Need to tell them clear information. What is expected? Okay, and what you want to do intentionally, uh, clearly and inten intentionally. We need to tell them the full picture, a clear picture. Or expectation. Elaborate on this triangular also time, cost, and customer requirement and the resources you need. Which one? Which question? 17. Uh -huh. Oh, the four decision. The four decision linked with the phrase and gate. Uh, phrase and gate. Mode, mode, uh. First one is proceed 
with change, uh, without changes. Means 100% go. Means what, what you propose, you can go. Means you achieve the expectation already. Uh, you meet all the expectation, okay, go. Uh, proceed without changes. Second one, or oh, there are some things that already off already. You need to proceed, but with minor changes or with changes. You can proceed, but change something. Okay, change something. Uh, maybe customer want white color. What you do is black color. Oh, you change white color. So the third one, oh, you keep changing. Uh. Uh, you want this, one that, one this, one that. What actually you want? You don't know, you're not clear. So the sponsor will say, hold. Hold the project, give me more information. Okay, hold, uh, on hold, uh, and get more information. The third one. Uh. The last one is cancel. Means you do all the assessment, risk assessment. Even you do trade off already, you still cannot achieve the customer requirement. Then cancel. You cannot cope or you cannot uh, meet the customer requirement, then cancel. Okay. Uh, again, uh, this book is inside the canvas. Uh. PM book guide, sixth edition is inside canvas. Go and read. Uh. This is the 360 something pages. Go and read. Uh. Define project as what? Temporary endeavor. This one you go and read. Uh. Okay. Of course, I won't ask you definition of projects. List three components of PMI talent triangular. This is important. PMI talent triangular, they are technical, leadership, and business skill. PMI talent triangular. Talent triangular. Um, project management. Leadership. This is technical, technical skill, leadership with people, strategy. Uh, this is business skill about money. Okay, this one is knowledge, huh? knowledge, technical, uh, technical, people, and money. Okay, so it looks like this. Uh. It looks like this leadership. Business skill and technical management. It looks like this. Okay. And the latest one, they just changed to this wording business skill to become business acumen. Uh, technical, they put in a better, uh, in a more layman term, the way of working. And leadership is power skill. Le leadership is power skill. Uh, so this is according to PMI standard. Uh. Okay. Um, 20, describe at least three obstacles and how you overcome them. Three, three reason, three solution, six mark. Okay, three reason, three sol uh, suggestions. Any organization, project management methodology, often face several obstacles, might overcome. Okay, so these are the things. So these are the factors that you need to do. First, complexity. Second one, organization structure. Third one is requirement. These are the uh, three examples that PM will always face uh, when they deal with a project management methodology. Huh? Methodology means the, how you decide the way you do things. Okay, the word here, project management methodologies, if you see this word, means it asks you about the way you're doing and what are the way that stop you from doing that. Obstacles, right? Obstacles mean things that you will face when you do things or what are the factors you consider. There are three things you consider, complexity, organization structure and changing requirement. And the detail is on the slides here. Okay. Uh. Changing requirement maybe because of the process. 
um, and changing of technologies. Uh, for example, microchip, now's a day already, but very fast already. You're still using the old one, then uh, you might not be competitive enough. Lah. For example, all those uh, car audio system, uh, if you're still offering people with cassette without touching screen, then you're not doing what the market want already. Uh, okay. So changing technologies, if you're talking about automotive uh, customers, tech, uh, applications, devices, usually come with touchscreen, voice activation, uh, sensing, car avoidance uh, system, uh, car collision avoidance systems, uh, uh, and then what the, the camera in the car, uh, that one, a uh, dash cam, now it's already become like part of the package already. If you buy a car without dash cam, you like think, hey, what is this? Uh? Right. Right. Uh, okay. The last two question. Project manager responsibility for coordinating and integrating. So these are the main, uh, main role of the PM. Integration activity performed by project manager is what? Uh, so I'll give you an example of integration. Uh. So these are the things. Uh. Three keywords, develop, execute, make changes. In the integration, uh, this one also inside our slides. All right. Integration, what are the integration process? Involve these three keywords. Develop, plan, execute, plan, make changes to the plan. Okay. What is the ultimate role of the project sponsor? What do you think? After we discuss more than 20 questions, what do you think project sponsor major role? Huh? What's the major role? Andrew, what is the major role of sponsor? Not very clear. I mean, the, the point is not very clear. If you write like the one, you won't get marks. You need to give me the keyword, the keyword for project sponsor. Anyone? Cancel the project is what? No, no. Cancel the project is part of the for what? Yeah, for what? The, the keyword is not mentioning. For what? Ah, for what? That you need to mention that one in the answer if the question asks you. For what? You have for what that you have for. Proceed we change uh, proceed without changes, proceed with changes, get information and cancel. This for belongs to what? Ah. You still remember this 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 diagram? Uh? This one is what phrase and what phrase and gate. What happened in gate? Ah, uh, what happened in gate? The keyword is missing. Decision, ah. Uh? This four decision, ah, uh? ah, uh, uh. okay. So they give uh, okay, they give. Uh, decision and also behind screen assistant if they need uh, this one. Uh, this one assistant here means decision uh, actually. Sponsor they give behind screen assistant to a project personnel for project both uh, this one. Okay. okay, again the detailed explanation on the project sponsor. Go and read ah. Uh, go and read this book. Go and read this book. Ebook guide, sex, sex edition in the canvas. Go and read. Okay, so the question, if question come out, uh, very high chances, we'll remove this one. I'll ask you what is the, uh, elaborate the role of a project sponsor. Uh, then maybe four marks. 
four mark means two two example lah. Four mark means two two. Huh? Okay, so. Uh, go and ask your friend. Go and ask your friend. Okay, so we have a replacement class. Huh? We have a replacement class tomorrow. Uh, four to five. Yeah, chapter one and two is a lot of theory. You need to